Yes, here she is. The Greek flags are waving. The presentation will shortly be made of a special prize made in the image of an ancient Scythian decoration. Pure gold, weighing slightly less than 500 grams, very close to the ancient formula of Scythian gold. This prize will be given along with the official prize of the EBU. The special prize through a snowstorm will be handed over to the winner for Greece next year it will be Athens Greece. congratulations to Greece they were the favorites with the bookmakers they justified their form congratulations it's and congratulations indeed to Anton Schritt and the Klitschko's of course Contest winners standing together on the stage, Elena and Ruslana. Yes, Ruslana get off Elena. the stage, Ruslana. Ruslana. It's the Greek girl who is one now. Let's move along. Elena Paparitsu. Now, I'd just like to thank the BBC team in Kiev, who's been terrific now, here. It's been a wonderful, wonderful gentlemen. weekend here. Thanks to Kevin Bishop and Dominic Smith, and in London to John Spencer and Tony Revel. We'll be after the Eurovision party. BBC Three, of course. You can switch over there because Paddy O'Connell will be awaiting your pleasure. And he's primed backstage for the aftermath. And he'll probably be able to talk to Javine. And indeed, maybe inquire why we got so few votes yet again this year. Does really, does nobody love the United Kingdom in Europe anymore? He's the great man himself, Yachenko, of whom we have seen so much over the last few months. He's such a heroic figure here, so well loved. The Orange Revolution finally brought him to power, still terribly scarred by the poisons from Ukraine, as the host country of your vision song contest 2005. Дорога Європа, добрий вечір. Я вас всіх вітаю із цим чудовим європейським вечором. Золота пектораль, яку я тримаю у руці, це український приз. Кращі європейські пісні, кращому європейському виконавцю за об'єднану Європу. Я вітаю з перемогою. This is a special prize from Ukraine, a special pictorial to the song, to the winning song that unites the whole Europe. Thank you, Viktor Andreevich. Дякуємо! Thank you very much. This special prize was designed by the Jewel Factory here. And reminds, reminds us of the symbol of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. A fun flower. And it's time for us to say goodbye, and of course, after we say goodbye, you will time for me to say enjoy goodbye again as well. the fantastic performers and of the world. Once more, we shall hear from Greece. Helena Paparitsu for Greece. Thank you. My number one won well here in the Ukraine and Kiev. Convincing winner in Europe. Let's hear it for Greece. And next year, <laughs> Athens. I look forward to it. I'm sure you will as well. You're my lover, undercover You're my sacred passion and I have no other You're delicious, so capricious If I find that you don't want me, I'll be the shit
Hello from Kiev, Ukraine. Welcome to International Celebrity Come Dancing with me, Natasha Kaplinsky. Well, I'm afraid we all need our mood cheered up here. I'm going to be trying to do that over the next 85 hours, however long it takes. Uh, let me just tell you what is ahead in the way of good news. I'm behind stage now. Downstairs uh, in a gazebo, I have Julia Morris, stand-up Eurovision fan and general Australian woman and Steve Rosenberg, BBC's Moscow correspondent, whose knowledge of politics is going to be extremely useful, and he can play every winner on the piano. That's all ahead. Here's the arena door opening. It's another Eurovision glitch. Oronofsky catch the carpet at the bottom. You've got to love the technical glitches of Eurovision. While we're waiting for this, have a look at a little bit of TV curtain raiser. The door was broken and so were the hopes of so many British Eurovision fans. The 50th Eurovision Song Contest, a year we did worse than last year. Political voting was back with a vengeance. What can we do? What can we say? There's one of the hosts coming out now. Excuse me, Masha, BBC. Hi, hello. Uh, are you pleased with how things went tonight? It was fantastic. I was in the very beginning a little bit nervous, but then Everything impressed me greatly. The audience is fantastic, everybody. Can you cheer us up from the UK? We're worried it was a political vote. We had a better song. What can we say? Oh, about politics. We didn't say, think about it even. You, you watched everything by yourself. Yes. Is there anything political atmosphere? No. Not the atmosphere here, but uh, how did you think of, of, the British vote, of the British song, Javine? British song? Uh, we liked her, especially my hair stylist. He fell in love with her. He said, "Oh my God, she's very upset today." Yes, and uh, so is Javeen. But for now, thank you so much, Masha. Thank you. Thank Hello. you. Bye bye. Thank you. Masha and Pasha are hosts, uh, telling me, uh, "Don't think politics, think hair." But I know that many of you will be like me, convinced we should have done better. And there are other countries here who feel the same way. Here is congratulations, Chiara thank from you. Malta. Thank you. Firstly, thank you very much. on yourself, uh, we gave you uh, many points. Um, you gave us points as well. How did you feel your vote went? Good, no? Second place. Last time I was third. This time I'm second. So next time I'll be first. We love you for many reasons in the UK. I think we gave you 10. Yes, last time I got 12 from you, so that's always very good. Are you going to be cross with me? Can you no. cheer me up, Chiara, because we feel Javine uh, deserved better than she got? I think Javine deserved much better than she got. I was very disappointed, actually, with, with some of the points. Because um, even us in the beginning, we didn't start very well. And I, I sort of expected better, sort of. For Javin, for us, for Cyprus as well. And You're a veteran, you've done so well in this contest and in the last. What would you say to Javin as a woman, as a singer, as a contestant? I would. Here she is. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, come, yeah. Would you come back for us? Come back here. Would you talk to the BBC? Um, I'm saying all the wrong I would things. Say, actually, I don't think she knows English. That's oh, okay. why. Thank She's you, from yeah. Belarus. Um, I would say to Javine one thing, you know, when you sing, you sing for music, you, you sing from your heart to the people's hearts, and that's what you should do always, no matter what the points are, no matter what place you get. Before you go, Chiara, we, we, you, you voted for us, we voted for you. Will you sing for us? And I'm going to, I will ask you to cheer me up with your lovely song. Okay. Now here's my microphone. Thank you. I'll be your angel in your darkest night. I'll be your destiny, waiting by your side. 
I'll be the sunshine when you're feeling blue. I'm always here for you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carl. Come down and join us later. And the truth is, never been sung better. Malta is always there for us. They voted for us, and uh, so did we too, the other way round. Uh, let me look behind me. Denmark, Jacob Sveistrup, congratulations. Oh, Thanks a lot. Um, a school teacher, and look, you blew other people out of the water. Thank you. Well, uh, yeah, we kind of went down the, the list in the end, but we still stayed amongst the, the ten, so, uh, so we're just happy that we're, that we're in the finals uh, next year. Yeah, I mean, you, no country is more fanatical about Eurovision than yours. Uh, yeah, I think there are a, a few others, but still. Jacob, hold my microphone. Yeah, sure. I want to lean on your shoulder. Right. Here's why. Here's why. You beat the Olsen brothers. Yeah, I did. You, you beat one of the biggest Eurovision names. I did, yeah. And like, we feel it's a, it's a surprise, you know. We, we feel we should have done better. Well, um, so you should have beaten the, the Olsen brothers. No, right? no, what no. You in, in the vote, Jacob. No, OK, yeah. Do you agree? Sure. Sure. Did you like Javine's song? Yeah, of course I did. Uh, where do you feel the voting went? Did it go predictably? Denmark, Norway uh, voting? Yeah, we, we did give each other uh, a, a few votes, but um, well, if, if you if you look at the entire uh, picture, it is, yeah, in yeah, the entire got, picture, everyone does that. Right? You got votes from many many countries. They loved your song. Yeah, that's good. Can you give me a final burst of it as I look around the room, cheering myself uh, up? I could try. Thank you, Jacob. Okay. I'm talking to you through my heart mm -mm. Talking to you, baby Just tell me where to start I wanna get through my doorway mm -hmm. Wanna get through uh, Just tell me what to say Yeah Right. Thank you, Jacob, so much. You'd... You're welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, can I just remind you where we are? We're behind stage at the 50th Eurovision Song Contest. Thank you for joining our coverage. Uh, we will be lifting the mood, I hope, as we look back on marvellous moments from half a century. Mother Eurovision's notched up half a, half a century. Uh, what are the lessons from there about how to look at British role in the future? Many people saying, will you start voting or we'll, stop lose, we'll lose interest? Now, here's a country that deserves everyone's attention tonight. Hello, congratulations, Israel. How did you feel from the start and not the voting when you were singing? Um, well, it was it was amazing feeling. I just sing from the heart, and it was very important to me to to feel it inside, and that's what I did. And I'm I'm proud to be at the first place. Did you have <laughs> the spirit of Dana International inside you? Um, uh, no, <laughs> not Dana International, but she's great. Uh, but. I sang a um, ballad, you know, not a fast song, so I just needed to be more focused and um, just sing from my heart. Do you think you gained, because it's been a, a, so much sort of hoopa hoopa performance, whips, leather, uh, uh, bras made of bear skin, uh, do you think that your song, Sung Simply, did you a favour? I think that, uh, yes, the simple of the song and the... the um, we just we we didn't uh, needed any gimmicks and we just stand on we and the girls and the the players just stand on the stage on the stage just sing and it was the best thing to do I think. What can you tell us, uh, British uh, Eurovision fans tonight? We're disappointed. Um, why? Why? Why are they disappointed? Because we're we're happy for your success, but we feel we we had a good ah, song. Yes. And we. Ha we you did, you had, she did a great uh, uh, job, yes. really, and um, I hope uh, for the best uh, for you uh, for the next year. Okay. <laughs> Maybe for us Thank too. You. Thank Congratulations you. on talking and listening at the same time to your Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Okay, well there will be rejoicing in uh, Israel tonight, a very strong showing, and uh, it's all happening behind me. Geir, Geir Ronning is here from Finland. Yes. Geir, will you embrace me warmly? Come here. As a fan. Give me a hug. I'm telling you, man, this has been a great day. Great evening, as always. Now, you, unfortunately, did not have a good evening at the semi-finals. Well, I think we did, actually, but, you know, there's a lot of phones out there and somebody picked the wrong number. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> they yeah. did pick the wrong number. <laughs> they uh, did. Um, have you, are you getting over the uh, disappointment you didn't go through to the final? There, I have to say, from the bottom of my heart, there's really no disappointment. It's such a great 
week to be into. Still, though, to be quite honest, I have to take off my glasses yeah. for saying this. Ladies and gentlemen, why didn't you get me on the big stage? Because yeah. I wanted to be there. Yeah, we've got our own wounds to lick tonight. I'm telling you. But oh, is it that way? Is it? Yeah, we feel uh, we feel a bit sad. We want to be up Well, lifted. do you know what? I have to show you something. I'm sorry about this, but this is this is nothing but... It's not a political slogan. No, not at all. This is just coming from the bottom of our hearts. I hope we can make it one way or another. Hold that, Gail. I'll hold, hold this one. And you excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, can you move? Gail, it's an important message. All right, hang on then. At last, relief from embarrassing itching. Here we go. And the truth is, and nothing but the truth is, we are no losers. And you know why. Okay. So I'm asking why, why will we ever find the answer? Why, why, why won't love be all that matters? And that's the end of it. Okay, so. yeah, thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You, and you're, you're a, good, a good example of how to cheer yourself up. Wasn't it? Yeah, thank you so much. We'll see you later, Let's I hope. You okay. Uh, you. There you have a guy saying he didn't get through from the semi finals. Look on the bright side. Uh, here we have the artists changing room, the green rooms, they're leaving from over here. I've got more work to do to bring you the coverage and I've got Julia Morris downstairs and Steve Rosenberg waiting in the gazebo of, of uh, the gazebo, if you like, with a piano and more artists uh, coming. I'm just looking around me. I'll tell you what we'll do before I show you something. No, I'm not going to show you a tape yet. I want to just go in here. Excuse me a moment until I get stopped by security. Hello, come with me. Let's just look at the stadium where it all happened. Here's what we're going to see. We're going to stand up here and make a little statement. Come on to the stadium. I've walked past security and I'm here to say, in Britain, we love Eurovision. We want you to vote for us. We had a good song. There we are. That's where it all happened. I got onto the stage, the 50th Eurovision Song Contest. One thing I can pass on from here, spending time with Javine, is that she was very warmly received by international delegations at the news conferences when she did her rehearsals here. Oronofsky, show the stage. Uh, this is the stage that's touring with Bono when it's finished here, which it certainly has. So here, as I look for Javine herself and for other entrants this year, and my guests downstairs, here's a taster of what it was like for Javine over the last five days. Hi, I'm Paul Domain. I'm a for here in Eurovision for Javine. We're just trying to sort out the sound system. They've got an ear which is moulded in the UK um, so they can hear their own voices and it unfortunately doesn't work. So at the moment it's not going that well. Together this way. Um, there's some very strange rules here. Um, first personal, all I'm allowed to wear are my shoes and that's it. First person already well, didn't it guys? Um, sounds really good and um, we're warming up each time it's going to get better and better. We just saw back our, our last rehearsal um, and there's a few little things that we have to fix up. Uh, sound and the lighting and stuff like that but we've got plenty more rehearsals until the big day and I'm on my way now to the press conference and going to be asked loads of questions. Hopefully they won't be too tricky. I never ever thought in a million years I'd be doing Eurovision but it is going to be one of the biggest kind of stage shows experience I've ever had. Dear ladies and gentlemen, may I heartily welcome all of you on the occasion of the opening of the 50th Year Jubilee Eurovision Song Contest. Can you? You are singing for Ireland this year. Yeah. You are the only one. We're going to Uh, you can see me. 
Well, it's obvious, you can see there's a camera pointing at me. Uh, I'm downstairs, there's a big crowd outside. Let me just tell you, here's the bottom of one of the most famous glam rock acts in Eurovision, because there haven't been very many. Glam, BBC. Love you girls. No, leave the girls, you're always with the girls. Woo! His, uh, is it true? Hi, UK. Pl Plymouth, we love you. Did you see the wink? Yeah, you're big in Plymouth, especially in those trousers. You think so? You're very big. Is it because of the trousers? I hear you're big in Plymouth. <laughs> okay. We're big in anyway. It's <laughs> all right. We're having a good time. And UK, five points. I thought you were a rock and roll country, but what the hell. We're coming to see you on tour anyway. Yeah, and also, though, you did get support. You got a lot of attention. Is it true that you were saying to women, I saw a woman said to you, I love your song, and you said to her, I love your boobies? I really love the Ukrainian boobies, and I also like the. Um, you see the girl from UK, from the UK. Devine, her we legs. Could, we did see her. Yes. Her legs. We've seen her legs. We've been watching her legs all through the weeks. She's got amazing legs. Why Good. didn't she win? She should win on those legs. I love that you're saying she should win. Come with me to the gazebo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will. Glam. Uh, where are the other boys? I think they're drinking some champagne or whatever. But, yeah. Um, Ninth place for you. Yeah, I'm having on my white one right now, and I'm definitely having a good time. And we never thought that, you know, rock and roll. Hold my so, mic. So, should we make a rock and roll revolution anyway? We come and see you on tour, and definitely we will rock your ass off. Okay. There's our gazebo. Yeah. Come down here. Come down here. While he's making his way, can you see me on another camera, can I ask? I want to point out the scene here. I've lost uh, my connections, so you'll have to just bear with me while I bust. Uh, here we are, underneath the Gate of Glee. That's the flange above the Gate of Glee. This is everyone exiting now. We have our little gazebo here, just to tell our team that I can't hear a word. But it doesn't matter. Don't you mind our camera? We've, we're already licking our wounds, ladies and gentlemen. Where's the BBC guy? Yes, come into the tent. Okay, where's your tent? Here, here's our tent. Okay. Come into our tent. This is the tent. Ladies and gentlemen, Rimi Rimi Lay to you, Julia Morris. Look who I've got for you. Oh my God, what a lovely surprise! There we have Julia Morris. Hello, darling. Hello, how are you doing? I'm so well, how are you? I'm feeling all right. So am I. I'm feeling, feeling very all right. We've got matching shoes. All right. I think, you know, I think we'll suit each other. Tell me everything. We need a snap first. Okay. I prefer, I prefer it like this. I'm a chubby lady. Give me that microphone. I need to talk to this handsome man. I think it's turned a little bit rock and roll. Dom, how's your night? You know, we're having a great time right now. Really? And right. you know, can we stay here for the whole night? Why wouldn't we? Can you just tell me a little bit about Norway? Norway is a great country for really? rock and roll. It's a state of rock and roll. Yeah. And um, But we will definitely come to UK do you know and rock I, you guys. Do you know what I love? Your love is all over me. Love is all over you. Come on, girl. Action on the BBC. I think it's yeah. exciting. <laughs> it spiraled out of control. It's rock and roll. You know, all right. <laughs> you know, we hope for a rock and roll revolution, but you know, being the ninth or whatever, it feels like kind of a rock and roll revolution in a way. Darling, have you loved your week in the Ukraine this week? We've been having a great time. I'll tell you who else has been having a great time is Paddy. We're about to watch some footage. He has rocked this city. Let's have a look. All right. Where is it? To me, these hills, these mounds, they're alive with the sound of Ruslana because she made this entire massive country very proud to win last year and bring the 50th Eurovision Song Contest here to Ukraine, a country roughly the size of France, which I feel like I've now walked over half of, and with a population of some 50 million people, just a bit smaller than the UK. And the capital, Kiev, is host to the Eurovision. But can it contain the Bosnian beauty's feminine? For the many years of happiness, of happiness, call me. Woo! What songs have you liked from the past? 
Cyprus, Constantinos. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's full of energy. Yes. Do you like your men yeah. full of energy? Yes. Of course. There's many of them here at Eurovision. Some of them looking the other way, as we said. We know. <laughs> Have you made many gay fans here? Yes. yes. Oh, my one. God. And he told her if he wasn't gay, that she would be the first film of her. <laughs> How important is it to you girls to win? It's very, very much important for our country yeah. because we yeah. never won in anything. <laughs> I've been told we'll be joined shortly by Javine, oh, yeah! and we've already got Glam here from Wigwell. I want to introduce Steve Rosenberg. He can play any song on the piano and analyse political voting. Can we have a favourite song from over here behind the gazebo? 74! 74. 74. 74. 74. 74! Sing if you want to. Can we see them? Will you say you enjoyed it? Yes, yeah. most definitely. Okay, well, I'm sad I didn't win though. Thank you, everyone, who didn't vote for me. <laughs> Congratulations. For now, thank you so much, Abby. Back Thanks. to you, Julia, with the boys from Wigwell. Oh, oh, your love is definitely all over me. Tell me, what's been your own? beautiful. What's been your highlight of the week apart from licking my leg with its peppermint Woo! edge? Come on, baby. <laughs> 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 Belong to, that, and I yeah. will try. Oh, it's a very it's a Cinderella it's it's story. It's you. It's so amazing. It's you. Let's marry right away. Which should we? Does that mean you're wow. <laughs> Tell me, what's been your highlight of the week? We had a wonderful week, you and I. Yeah. In the jacuzzi. We were spooning. Mm. We had a good time. And um, what other things you've been up to? Have you been loving? The, have you met um, Victor Yevchenko, the president? No, uh, we just met and I told him, rock and roll revolution. He, he said, yeah. He, he said, was, yeah. He was totally um, rocking to your beat. I don't know he was weak in his eyes and, and he told, told me, yeah. He's not the sort of man that lives in a tent, but let me tell you. You know, Patty he's a big been, fan. I'm, Paddy has been camping this week. He's, he's a been big fan. out with all sorts of people. Let's have a look at his camping week. That's what I'm excited about. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's all going wrong. Oh. Paddy on camping. Bed and breakfast accommodation, the stone throw from the water. It's the truth this time, not a blur, because that beach is where the Euro camp is. You can stay there in a tent for six pounds a night with breakfast thrown in. The reason there are tents is that when Ukraine won, they said they'd build 10 new hotels, but their attention was diverted by the small matter of the orange revolution, meaning that people who are coming are offered a tent instead. Um, what are you doing here? We are the resident of this uh, camp and we live here uh, we came here to see the Eurovision. So you're sleeping here? Yeah, we're sleeping in, in Show me, place. show me your bed. Okay. In England we always say, show me your bed. Okay. And so it's a common thing we say. Yeah, I know. Oops. Hello. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> she want, she want oh, she wants me in the bed. I'm getting in the bed as well, yeah. over here. My name is Tanya, I'm from Plinsk. This is the best, best town in Ukraine. We are our girls, we are a team of Kavan. We come uh, <laughs> to your vision because it is very popular and our son is very good. Uh, yes, yes, we get it! Do you like the UK? Do you like France? Angelica Gurbash. Ah, from uh, Angelica. Love me tonight. I need you. 
Thank you for showing me your bed. Thank you for showing me your bed. <laughs> Not at all. We are all welcome. And we got some presents for you. Wow. It's this nice cap is for you. Thank you. This nice t shirt, Dynamo Kiev. Is this the uh, soccer team, the football team? Yeah, soccer team. Spasiva, Spasiva. Not all. Thank you very You're much. You're always welcome. Seems to me like a good place to meet boys and girls, or both. And uh, better probably than a hotel. It might rain. Also, there are a few mosquitoes. So there you have it, Tent City. Ah. Right, I'm sorry to be so self-indulgent and show you what the Euro campus were like, but I knew you'd be interested in the fans. I've got Romania here with me, or I'll be talking to you in a moment. Uh, don't say Ruby Wax, or I'll get a slap across the chops. Uh, Steve Rosenberg, who normally does uh, political things, just as well you're here. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, there is a bit of a political voting to it, isn't there? But I think neighbours vote for neighbours. No way, but have you got a twelve? Have you got the list with you? Have you got, I've got the list? Yeah, I was just keeping a copious list of all the, all the, all the scores, and it's the same old. Uh, Give me some examples, scores, isn't it? Well, it's the the Balkan country. The Balkan countries vote for uh, each other. Uh, Cyprus and Greece, of course. But at the end of the day, I think the best song wins. And I think the Greek the, the Greek song was one of the favourites. It was yeah. a good song. It was a strong song, and it won out. And also, Paddy, don't be too upset because if you look back at fifty years, I am. Oh, I'm looking no. back at fifty years. Oh, you are. You're not upset. Okay, look back at fifty years. Yes. You see that United Kingdom has won five times. So you know there are things to be proud of. In the um, past. What I love, Steve, is your versatility. Not only can you analyse this, but you can play every winning year. So play your own favourite. It's sad, isn't it? But true. Uh, my my favourite. Well, um, one of my favourites is Johnny Logan, 1987. Okay, let's yeah. hear it. Let's hear it. And I've got Romania waiting. Forgive me for waiting. We're going to play a little bit of Johnny Logan. I love it. Thank you very much. You can sing if you like to Johnny Logan. Uh, depends what he sings. So we're here with a bit of chaos, as you'd expect, in the after show moments. We've heard from Javine that she will go on. We've heard from Finland, who didn't even make it through, that you've got to try and find a way to pick yourself up. And the door frame broke as they were trying to open the arena, so it's been classic. Uh, Romania, Romania, Romania. Hi. Hey. England, a, England, England. A great big thing. You had your drums up, you had flames. Angle grinders. No, actually, Angle grinders. We, have, we hadn't had flames, actually. They Sparks. wouldn't allow it. Only sparks, only sparks. It felt like Can in you... my heart there were flames. Yes, well, in our heart there were lots of flames, but they wouldn't allow it on the stage actually because of security reasons. That was a kickback for us because we were hoping to make our show as, as we planned it from the beginning. That's it, the stage was very important. All the competitors needed to have the same chance. They were fabulous. Were those big shoes heavy when everyone was on those ones? Yes, actually I won't recommend them for, for jogging. No, no, that's no Don't try anything sportier but that. But that. And I love the... With the... Yeah, whoa, the flags, the angle yes. grinders. I used to think they were called ankle grinders, but there's no need to grind an ankle. You should, you should try to sing with that in your back to oh, see that how it is. <laughs> yes, actually. Everybody's... But you had to turn on the drums as well, which was yes. fabulous. Yes, I tried my best, but you know. You've really got hard. music, you've got rhythm. I don't see you can ask for too much more. It was perfect. It was a great night for us. Romania did something that didn't happen since 15 years of Eurovision. You needed Nadia Comaneci doing backflips across the stage, maybe that, halfway through. I don't think so. That was just that was a, bit, a little bit too much. Quickly more. round the room then. Um, do you have a favourite Eurovision moment from the last half a century that it's all been rattling along? Oh, let's see. Last, last year with, with Ukraine was very, very powerful. Ukraine. Moment. Ruby Love, yes. for you a favourite year? Uh, in this, uh, ah, last year I loved it, and two years before. Okay, uh, yes, do you have I one yourself? After, 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 okay. Julia? My favourite, 
Gina G spot. Gina. <laughs> I love Gina G spot. Just pick, a little bit. Pick the Australian, Steve. Dust off the Eurovision history book, and you'll find 1969 when four countries won. Four no countries, way. yeah. In, in one year, absolutely. That's 69. An amazing 69. You can, you can find Steve's work on the 10 o'clock news very frequently. <laughs> uh, for now, I look at uh, something we made earlier. Uh, excuse me a moment. Is that it? Where I'm meant to be? Yes. No, it is over there. Right. Excuse me. I could be a host of this thing. Give me a book. How could you do? Look at my book. Look at my book. I know where I'm going now. I now take you. I uh, take you on a. May the glitter ball of Eurovision shine on your living room as we look back at 50 years. And I get a drink. 50 years ago, the united colours of Europe joined hands and decided to teach the world to sing. I'd like to teach the world to sing. The cosmos was about to be showered with a glitterati of la 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 tunes, big hairdos and nil point. Baby, bye, bye. The Eurovision Song Contest was born. Eurovision Song Contest, Contest, Contest. And with it came high fashion, singing trolley dollies and gimmicks. Illustrious careers were launched and unknown artists remained unknown artists. Singers already famous but not for Eurovision just wanted to forget that they were ever in it at all. Revolutions were born. Countries divided and joined together in matrimonial inter-satellite voting bliss. Greece, 12 points. Greece, 12 points. Cyprus, Cyprus. <laughs> Cyprus gave the top mark to Greece, and Greece gave the top mark to Cyprus. How to enter? Well, it's easy. In 1978, Spaniards living in Germany represented Luxembourg and sang in French. Euro United. There you have it, the Eurovision Song Contest. The Thinking Man's Cup Final. Well, we have the answer to that. I've been joined by Bosnia, ladies and gentlemen. You like Bosnia behind there? Let me hear you! <laughs> Do you have a favourite Eurovision year? Eurovision year? Uh, I don't know, uh, what about 74? Yeah, we've done 74, <laughs> we've done 74. Oh, it's pretty good. Well, we love ABBA, it's our <laughs> classic, it's our Eurovision, Eurovision classic, uh, and we love ABBA, it's obviously. Now, <laughs> who were who your fans, girls, this year? Who would this you year? Think? Well, Norway. Yeah. Norway, we love you. Norway rocks. And uh, I, uh, it's it's my uh, it's my opinion. I love rock and roll. So Norway, so Switzerland, and uh, I don't know if we go to Etno, it's Turkey, it's Croatia, and so yeah. on. <laughs> and do you think there were any gay fans among them? What? And do you think you had any gay fans? We? Yes. Of course. Why yeah. not? Yeah, no, I think you probably had a lot. Do you think we are too feminine? <laughs> feminine. They all wish they were you. Because okay. your song goes, can I, uh, do I need to put it over there? No, oh, no, they've got one. Sorted. Your song was exactly. the only yeah. one that was uh, uh, <laughs> like a tribute to 50 years of boom, yeah. bang, a hoopa, hoopa, boom, bang, a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> can you say it again? <laughs> boom, bang, a hoopa, hoopa, boom, bang, a boomer. Boom, bang, hoopa, 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 boom, bang, boom, boom. <laughs> you were, but you were the only one doing the tribute, weren't they, Julie? Did you yes. have six-part harmonies? Were there yes. six-part harmonies? Yes. They were yes. amazing. Thank you. Because you had your other three backup singers and then a new, a new three. We Made gave our best. We yes. were we enjoying on the stage. We were yeah. happy. We were satisfied afterwards. And now we are also satisfied. Now we are going to celebrate because we did the great job. We have a few wines tonight. A few vinos tonight. No, I yeah, think it will be. Of course, <laughs> of course, it will be the one. I think it will be vodka. Ah, yeah, vodka. It will be vodka. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd win? We win. Did you think you would? Well, before we well, saw competition. <laughs> no, I actually thought we would win till the last one. <laughs> no, I'm a big uh, opportunist. No, no, not the opportunist. No, no, yeah, oh, um, optimist. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even though I uh, doubted a bit, I was always like, girls, we are going to win. We are going to win. Because that was the only way that we get motivated to do the best job on the stage. And your outfits were so sexy. <laughs> really? I loved it. A bit of a sort of a woo with a cut and then a bit of a yeah. woo, woo We had a little bit of Beyonce, a little bit of Marilyn Monroe. It was so <laughs> now, it was almost tomorrow. That's Thank what you. I love. Thank, Thank you. you. It really rocked. Girls. And Thank you, Kay, for four points. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, shame you didn't return the favour though. <laughs> it, 
That's Eurovision. Yes, that's that's Eurovision. That's politic. <laughs> it's a spank for Bosnia Herzegovina, but we want votes from you next year. Can you give them to us? Next year. Next year, uh, I hope that we will be in jury. <laughs> yes, good. So do I. <laughs> and it's for sure. Excellent. I've got four blondes on the stage. It's almost as many blondes as gave the votes tonight. Oh, but I'm not natural blonde, oh. <laughs> Neither are we. They are all what? natural. All natural. All. <laughs> on the whole body. <laughs> How about natural dye? We are naturally dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me too. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much, because a lot of these guys, they're waiting, they, you've, you've given them a big boost. And thanks a lot for coming on stage. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're brilliant. Thank you, UK, for points. Thank you. So, I want to just uh, look back at uh, how time's been spent here by people who aren't on the sofa. Javine, I spoke to her earlier, but I want to bring you a little taste of what it was like <laughs> when the confidence was building that the UK would get votes. Here's a look. Hold my hand. Hold my hand, Ivana. Please as we look back at Javine's week in Kiev. Oh, that's, nice. that's good, isn't it? <laughs> good effect. And what are you thinking about this today? It was different to what I probably expected it to be. It's very colourful and the buildings are beautiful. We hope to see um, Colette and Paula. Yeah, well. my mum and sister, and they're here on the trip supporting me. All behaving, all behaving. She's um, not she's trouble. <laughs> all of you look quite chirpy, meaning that there's not really any stress. You couldn't. We well, left that behind. No. Yeah, we've, <laughs> we've we was in London. Just, yeah. We left I think because we're out of the country, we're in another country. We're just going to try and enjoy the whole experience. I think. So what's ahead then for you, Paula? Anything on your cards you want to see? Anything? Have you heard about anything you want to do? In clear. Yeah. I wouldn't mind going to the Eurovision Song Contest. I hear it's on this week. <laughs> There's a place in your heart for me. There's a room in my place for you. Okay, there's ten little dolls, and this is the smallest baby one right inside. Oh my gosh. Look how small she Cute. I'm going to get this. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to try and um, hustle him down a little bit because he's supposed to be able to bargain in. So how much is it for this? Forty dollars. What do you reckon? Thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five. I've got ten dollars off it, which I think is all right. It's not going any lower anyway. We have stopped at River de Nipro. It's very big. It's the third biggest river in Europe. And there's a beautiful bridge and beautiful statues. It's very, very nice. Uh, thank you for staying with us. The 50th year of Eurovision and uh, some technical problems of our own. To be honest with you, not enough drink. But, uh, I'm joined by people who know things terribly well. Steve's still here, Julio's uh, running everything. And Andres Canol is the Austrian commentator. Next to him, Barry, the doppelganger of the David Beckham of Ukraine, who's the, from the website ESCToday.com. Guys, what's your reaction to tonight? It was a fun show, wasn't it? It was great fun tonight. Very good fun. Uh, good winner. Very good winner. Shock result for the Eurovision, the favourite one. Yes. Unusual. How, how unusual. many years has that happened? Um, I think that's about twice in 50 years. It's outrageous. Do you know, speaking of the favourite, I spoke to the, um, the Greek people uh, that were here with her, and they were saying that all week people keep saying, where are you going to have the competition? How, how is it going to be when you win? Yeah. And they said that was very frustrating and, and really quite disturbing because it put them off their game a little bit. Uh, all they've really been saying this week is if, 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 because everyone's saying when, when, when. But um, I'm glad they won. They, they did really well. Uh, uh, since, yeah. since when do the Poles know who wins? I mean, this has happened well, as last year. As in the Polish, or, the or do you mean the Poles? Poles. The, 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 the pole. The oh, pole. No, the pole. The pole. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time for the second, for the first time last year, Ruslana, she was the winner everywhere in every poll, and this year as well, Greece. So yeah. there time. might be Our some money got it right again. Yes. We can we can rely on the bets and make a lot of money. I like future, it. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is good. Paper the room. Yes. Yeah. Um, Andres, I want to talk about old Europe and Steve's here and he knows a thing or two about old Europe because he's his job. Because I'm old. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Andorra, out. Um, uh, uh, Portugal, out. Ireland, out. 
the UK, no one, hardly anyone voted. Austria, out. What's the story? It's not an inside pocket. Well, the story might be that Europe is larger now, and there's different tastes in music. There are new countries that have nice neighbors they love. So it's just a new situation. But be honest, what have the Austrian people have been saying about everything? I think they thought it's gonna be just another Eurovision with ridiculous clothing, <laughs> things on stage that don't belong there. It's that was the Austrian entry. Hold on, <laughs> hold on there. We did nice little Austrian <laughs> folk music. <laughs> yes, nice Austrian folk music. Yassi, Yassi, oh. Bala, Bala. I was hooked Macarena. on folk. Hooked on folk, I yes. tell you. I, I can see it by your dress. Well, <laughs> <laughs> totally love it tonight. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> um, they'll never, they'll never change. They'll never break it up, will they? It's not like there'll be two contests. No, but that's 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 the beauty of Eurovision, isn't it? I mean, that's why we love it so much, um, because of the uh, the colour and the you know the the political voting. You know, that's why I love it. I you love the politics. Years. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. I've done. For, for we nearly years. had forty countries, but Lebanon had said, you know, oh, when Israel's on, we're going to play ads. Yeah. We're going to try mm. and sell a bit of soap. That's fantastic. So they had to go because you can't sell soap. How wrong is that? So wrong. They was they were sh they were shunted out. That's how wrong. So are all the cookie people kind of phasing out because everybody looked extremely slick and very professional tonight. So is all the cookiness of Eurovision kind of fading out and all the more cool artists are coming in? Um in some countries, yes. Um, I think Greece put up one of their top performers tonight and it's worked for them. So I think maybe next year you'll see some more of the top performers coming through again. There was a lot of again. beautiful women and there was a lot of gorgeous bosoms. And a lot of yellow. <laughs> all of them are real, maybe. They were, don't, I tested them all and they're all real. Will it ever get bigger than 40? Because it nearly was 40 this no, year. They said, sorry. Yeah, I've I think heard Georgia are going to join as well next year, so... But Svante Stokselius, he said on the commentary that's waving, 40 is enough. You can't take enough. more than 40. Okay. You can have a favourite year from Eurovision and Steve here will play it for you. What's your favourite Eurovision winner over 50 years? 2005. <laughs> right, what's yes. yours? Uh, I Treni di Tozer by Alice and Franco Badiato. Uh, Eurovision winner. It's got to be a winner. A Eurovision winner. winner. Yes. It's got to be a winner. Uh, well, Sandra Kim, J'aime la vie. You, uh, oh. She said it was the worst experience of her life going on the Eurovision Song Contest. She was too forced to do it. She, it was a nightmare. She hated it. Who was that Celine Dion, did you say? No, Sandra Kim from oh, Belgium. The seven year old. Yes, the 12. 13. Oh. J'aime la vie, Can we have a bit of Bobby Socks as well? Bobby Socks. <laughs> Bobby Socks, 85. Bobby Socks, Bobby Socks That's, um... Strangely enough, I've had a bit of enough at the moment. I've got the uh, a look now at the gossip there was. Would you like some gossip about Jessica? I'm Bob? desperate for gossip. Do you want to hear some? Go on. Yeah, well, I've got some gossip here from the things that haven't been seen and the things that are still to happen. I've heard that Latvia are coming over. Here's a look at the things that happened at the parties. Can you break their highs? Can you no luck for the Irish. Not only were they knocked out of the semis, but in their press conference, they had a fall from grace. Oh! Yeah! That's it for good luck! But at least Sweden didn't mind sharing the stage with Joseph. Well, we the world together with suspicious eyes. The dominatrix of Troy cracks the whip in four-inch stiletto heels. Elena worked her dancers into a lather in the hotel gym during final preparations. The love affair that's kept Eurofans abuzz has hit the rocks. Could Cypriot Konstantinos know all the moves to steps? Shock, rock, horrors, Norway, smoke, fags and drink vodka. I'm a milk drinker. The UK delegation up in flames that Ninja and Ruby Wax can have them, but not us. Demonstrators sabotage Javine's Euro dream, waking our star up at 5 a.m. When pressed for an official statement, the hotel said, hey, that's democracy. Volters and Kaja have joined us from hey, Latvia, right. ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Latvia. Hello. Latvia. Hello. Latvia. Hello. Latvia. Now, there was a time, you came fourth in the end, but there was a time you were top of the leaderboard. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. ages. 
for ages. It was for ages, you know. It was really great, uh, you know, for uh, to be as the first one for the just half the show. It was you know, really great. It we, was really great. We didn't thought that we would win in the Latvian national Eurovision <laughs> because the song was so easy going and so you know. We didn't thought that the, the people will understand it. We were very happy and we were proud of you guys. Yeah. Thank UK, you. UK, you, you gave us six much. points. Thank you. Well, you were beautiful yeah, but on the Just bag. to mention that, boys, where were your points for us? Excuse me? Where were your points for us? Well, well maybe maybe they just didn't get, get them. Maybe they just didn't get them. So, I'm we, sorry, I'm I, sorry. I believe there was some mistake. Yeah, yeah there was a mistake. So do we. So do we. <laughs> yeah, no, it was like. It was like. Uh, Steve, what did you make of the boys? We call them uh, chickens because they're in the band Chicken Run. That's yeah, Chicken Run, chicken. yeah. Chicken Run. Did, uh, what, did you, did you uh, like the Latvian chicken song? Yeah, absolutely. It was, a, it was a really good song and it was very different from a lot of the other kind of Turkish style Yes, there was a lot, of there was a lot for the Turks to choose from tonight. At times it, it was like watching the, the Turkish song contest. And we didn't have drums on the stage. <laughs> How many cows were killed for this contest to get those drums tonight? What about the sign language? Yes, where did that come from? You know, well, it came from our, our uh, friend she just said that maybe it's it's a good thing and we said hey, it's a really good thing so you know if you just hear into the song you well maybe it's about the people who can't uh, understand they can't hear so well you know you just uh, you should have you should have uh, you shouldn't have uh, hear for for the guys who say you you're a loser so you have to believe in yourself so you can be what you want Absolutely. whenever you want so I'm gonna teach you a bit of sign language for the okay. Euro Club tonight okay. it's right Ride me. Ride me? Yeah, ride me. Okay. That's it. Ride me. That's, and so when you get into Euro, I just go, hi, ride me. And I think okay. it'll all go okay. beautiful. Okay, okay, ride me. <laughs> it's going to be a long night. I'm going to try and remember, in the Euro Club, I mean, I'm trying to remember, it's, it's I don't want to believe. Is yeah, that it? yeah. Is that and it? Then, but I don't want to believe it. Don't scream. Yeah. Everybody hears you. I don't want to believe that I can't get someone to ride me. <laughs> There's so much blondes on that sofa, it's marvellous, isn't it? <laughs> did, you, did you model yourself on a previous Eurovision winner? Did we? Did you model yourselves on uh, a... You on mean the clothes? No, your style. No, your no, style, no, 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 no. Uh, well, our clothes was made by our, uh, our uh, like... What, 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 what? I don't know what? how to say it. I don't know what to say oh, no, 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 not the fashion grandmother. Fashion designer. Fashion, uh, fashion sure, designer. Sure, no, we mean... A famous Latvian fashion designer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about yeah. the music? Yeah, what's your inspiration? Johnny Logan, did you like a Johnny... Do you like a ballad? Do you like a Johnny Logan? Do you uh, like a Celine Dion? Do you like uh, a rock no, and roll kids? Uh, if, if, if truth, we like a classic rock. Uh, UK is classic rock, you know, White Snake, Deep Purple and Led Zeppelin, that, that's our that's song. That's not You know, we just heard ACDC before our yeah, performance. Yeah, before it's our performance, like about uh, ho uh, half an hour, we were in a, in a hotel. Our hotel and we put a DVD, so... And then highway to hell, I'm on the highway so to hell. hell. So I know the feeling. So <laughs> yeah, you know, it's... <laughs> Where else do you get the Latvian boys playing ACDC, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought there was a hint of puppet on a string in, the, in, the, in this Puppet, A bit of puppet on a string. I think so. Guys, yeah. I'm going to yeah. just get a quick uh, opinion poll from the Eurofans under the flange over the gate of glee, which is there. Okay. Uh, so before I do that, can I ask you to play a little bit, Julia? Do you want a little bit? I want everything. <laughs> you want so everything. I want you to play something. So maybe a refrain? Uh, refrain? For the refrain? No, 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 don't song. refrain. Yeah. Actually play something. Okay. Oh, no, I see. So, yes, no, of course, of course. The world is not over, everyone knows it It's just a reason to make us believe That someone's the loser, someone's the winner To make us believe that's the way it should be But I So here we are, it's the flange. Can we see the flange on? The flange under the gate of glee where everyone comes from. Guys, have you had a good contest? Yes, it was a good contest and uh, I think that uh, from year to year it's better and better. And uh, the winner is now quit and quit is now win. Now hang on a minute, let me just check. <laughs> yes, it's Kiev. Kiev, you're from Ukraine? Yes, I'm from Ukraine, my name is Fan D. Now t can we just, don't tell us where you're from yet. Don't tell us where you're from yet. Oran, can you do an up and down? So. Legs from Scotland, Sporran from Scotland, there's a tassel missing. I, I, yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of tassels missing. Can I lift it? No. Is that, is that okay? Have, I have. 
Yeah, you, you can lift it now. You, you can lift it now. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Nothing shocking. Nothing we haven't seen before at this time. Uh, We're not huggers. <laughs> What's happened to the UK? Where are you from? I'm from Scotland. Come with me. I'm from Edinburgh. Can we just have a word for the Irish? Oh, oh, that was that was sad and nasty. But how much do we love the Irish? The way they voted we, we, for us. Oh, they, uh, they were sweet. That was so so sound. Are you from we Scotland as well? Him. He's my brother. Yeah. Oh well, it wouldn't be a surprise if it weren't. <laughs> Well, welcome to the spirit of Eurovision. <laughs> Where is Terry? That's what we're all <laughs> asking. Where is Big yes. Tail? Stuff, stuff these questions. Where's Terry? Very true. Look for me. You find him. PhD. <laughs> you tell him. Well. Hey! Oh, here, 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 here. Where's Terry? Hello, Terry. <laughs> Hello, Britain. <laughs> the British fans. I have to say, in case there's any doubt, um, we've been looking very hard. Thank you very much. Thanks for insulting me so much. I was trying to be nice. Um, yeah, no, we have been looking for Terry. Uh, he's been working for about 900 hours. So we can't find him at the moment because we desperately wanted to hear his opinion. So I want you to know that we all wanted Terry. Are you still playing in here, Julia? Hi, Viscus. Oh, look, we have been over here. We've just, we've uncovered an extraordinary deception. We have worked out the Norway song is actually a riff from another song altogether. Well, we haven't worked it out. The boys have worked it out because I'm slightly mental. Can you play that again for me? You, you, you think it will be good? Maybe not. Uh, Maybe, I, I not. Maybe not. Really? Maybe not. Well, no. Now, it's Norway's song, so let's not wait to hear it. So I it's like, loved it. You know, yeah, it was oh, great. It was great. It was really great. It was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. sure. Now, tell me, when you go home, will you be heroes? Yeah, sure, sure. Well, yeah. Because, you know, I just thought of the 10th place, so Latvia wouldn't have to participate in semi-finals next year. So, and if it's 5th place, so... Thank you, Mario, very much. Yeah, Hell, do you, know, it's, it's, you know, they, it, it's not, 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 not to this. And it's a 50th year, it was a sellout, wasn't it? Sell out in there. Sell yeah. out, What's absolutely. its future, Steve? Uh, Steve well, a lot of people criticise Eurovision. They have done for years, but I think that the future is assured. I mean, it was a great success. There were some great songs. There were some awful ones too, but there were some really good songs, I think, at the competition. Do you think people in Britain will say, I don't know that we're going to watch, don't know we're going to want to take part? I hope they don't do that. I hope they think that uh, it's, more so important, it's important to actually put a, a really good quality song in for next year's competition. I mean, that, that, it comes down to that, I think. If there's a good song entered, then a really strong song, then uh, the United Kingdom's got a chance of winning. Yeah. Paddy, my other bit of advice would yes. be, if you are a huge Eurovision fan, then make your way to the festival. It's been, I've never had an experience like it that's been such camaraderie. I assume that countries were shaped off into blocks where there was just Britain over here and Latvia over here and whatever. Everybody was mixed in yeah. and with every yeah. song that came on, every single flag was waving. Yeah, yeah. About that, you know, so many people laugh, of course, about Eurovision, you know, but, uh, you know, it, if, if you have a good song, then you can perform it uh, where we want. If you have a bad song, then you need to decide so which show you can't, uh, mm. but, but, and, and which show you, you can't. Yes, and how many but, clothes to leave off. Yeah, but if, you know, <laughs> yeah, if you have a good sure. song, you, 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 you can uh, yeah, perform it where we want. No, no, so. we just sang and we, we have a good song. It, so, yeah. yeah, well, I think we had a good song, you know. The fifth place is really good from 39. It's like really great. And you know, the major thing that the, this song was written by Martin Freeman, who was uh, in the who, who, who song in Eurovision in Riga, uh, as in Tree of Fly, and they they got a twenty third place. So right. it's like moments of glory for him. So so many statistics, but so, thank you so much for staying with us on our. Yeah, this thank you. Thank this you. This Sorry, it smells. It got wet. It's a bit smelly. <laughs> I tell you what, there's been goat all over me tonight, and I don't mind the cheese, but I don't like the fur. Okay. Okay. Do no. you know what I mean? Yeah. Steve, yeah. I thank you so much. Do you think this has been a disaster for you? This, I've got goat in my eye. For sake. Your, your normal job for your Eurovision enthusiasm. I think my career is over, but the future of Eurovision is assured. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and to you, Julia, the, you the are the boys hardest on side. working man in light entertainment, and I love you. And I, we, we've looked for Terry. I remind everyone we want him, but we got caught up in the door falling off. <laughs> Seems like a long time ago. And uh, we, I'm told that he always, you know, we looked for us. Uh, so, with that in mind, the man himself has helped us compile a look back at the highlights of this year's Eurovision from all of us here and the old uh, Scotsman behind the <laughs> good night from Kiev 2005 UK Kiev It's got to be the it's got to be the dreaded drums again do you
Two refugees from a boy band. Three women who looked like they were off a Christmas cake. Shake. Intriguing light engineering. And remember, kiddies, you mustn't try this at home. Come on, come on, come on. Is love He'll have to be buried in those trousers. The drink is a terrible curse. a big favor with me that boy you pink pussy cat Not the usual bizarre voting, but we're used to it by now, aren't we? You've just got to let it wash over you. There might be a vote here for Greece. Okay, surprise me. And finally, Greece, 12 points. 12 points for Greece. You're my lover, has the cover.